New at 5, new information on one of the largest counterfeit cash busts in Limestone County. Stacks and stacks of fake money totaling more than $23,000. Police arrested Billy Howell and Paula Polk this week. And when they got to the couple's home, they say Polk was trying to burn a stack of cash in the backyard. Way 31 Scotty K shows us how you can spot the money. Though these bills look identical, there's a difference in coloring and security features, and although you can't see it, there's also a difference in texture. That is a lot of money, and that is a lot of people that could truly do a lot of damage too. Mason Jackson says he's heard of people passing counterfeit money, but never expected to learn that tens of thousands of dollars worth of fake money was being made right here in Limestone County. Why can't you just go out and actually make the money honestly? Instead of actually doing all this fake stuff that causes people harm. And Jackson isn't the only one who's frustrated. They're hurting everybody, you know, the economy, the, the businesses, the people that's trying to support their families. George Farmer said the sad part is. It's somebody that, that has a lot of knowledge and, and done a lot of schooling, and they should have put that to a good cause instead of making counterfeit money. Farmer's right about this batch of fake cash. I spoke with the investigator who found it, and he says it looks very believable. He also says counterfeit cash is becoming more common in our area because people are realizing just how easy it is to make. People can pick up a, a printer scanner um, anywhere and then basically self-learn and figure out how they can make the bill look to their, you know, how they want it to. In the meantime, Jackson says he's going to be paying closer attention to his dollar bills. Be aware and just try to be cautious with just about any bit of money you get. Reporting in Limestone County, Scotty K, Way 31 News. Investigators with the Limestone County Sheriff's Office told us their counterfeit arrests are almost always drug related. In September, Way 31 was there when deputies went on a high speed chase to arrest a man suspected of passing off counterfeit money. In total, three people were arrested for a counterfeit, counterfeit money ring in the county. Police say you should always check your bills for the watermark. On $5 bills and larger, you'll find a magnetic strip and some ink that you should be able to recognize.